Australia's allies must stand up or risk being picked off by Beijing. Freedom-loving democracies including the UK must rally round Australia in the face of China's bullying tactics or face being picked off as well, a Tory peer has warned. Lord Patton was speaking days after Australian Senator Eric Abetz told Express.co.uk his country would not be cowed by Beijing and the former Tory minister signalled his determination to stand shoulder to shoulder with Canberra. Lord Patton, who was the last governor of Hong Kong before it was handed it back to China in 1997, made his feelings clear in an interview with The Guardian in which he warned Beijing was seeking to make an example of Australia. China appears to be motivated by Australia's decision to increase defence spending by 40%, and among the measures so far taken include tariffs of up to 200% on Australian wine, and the suspension of imports from six beef processing companies. In addition, China's Foreign Ministry spokesman Li Jianzhou angered Australia's Prime Minister Scott Morrison last week after tweeting a fake image of an Australian soldier holding a knife with blood on it to the throat of an Afghan child. The post was an apparent reference to a report suggesting Australia's special forces allegedly killed 39 unarmed prisoners and civilians in Afghanistan. Mr. Patton said, I think what has happened to Australia is a powerful argument for all of us for a change in working together to actually call China out and stand up to China. Now, people say, oh, we don't want a cold war with China. Of course we don't want a cold war with China. But China is fighting us. China hates our value system. And the question is whether we actually stand up for the sort of societies we are or whether we let China undermine it. Mr. Patton urged democracies to use all legal mechanisms including the World Trade Organization to expose Beijing. He warned, otherwise, other countries will be picked off in the way that Australia has been by this loutish behavior by China. What is happening in Australia is important for us in Europe if we want to defend our own rule of law and our own values as open societies and democracies. Speaking last week, Mr. Abetz, chairman of the Australian Senate's powerful Foreign Affairs, Defence and Trade Legislation Committee, said, there is no doubt that a communist dictatorship rules in China. Xi Jinping has declared himself president for life. While Australia is physically and economically smaller than China, our heart, moral courage and integrity will prevail. The freedom-loving countries of the world need to unite and speak out against a nation that actively seeks to diminish the values we cherish, such as democracy, freedom of speech and freedom of religion.